Hi and welcome to another video from the Market Outlook. In today's video, we'll be looking at the S&P 500 as well as the Nasdaq to determine what's the overall stock market health using technical analysis to break down the price action and to see where prices will trade in the coming weeks. So currently what we have here is the S&P 500 daily time frame. Price action is trading at 4,153 and it's trading below this 50-day EMA blue line that you see my cursor is drawing out over here. So when the price action has traded below this EMA, there's no need for concern because price action has traded below it before and immediately price action was brought back up in the past few times as you can see over here. So if we don't use this 50-day EMA, we can use the trend line where we connect the previous lows from this low point over here and we can see that price action is currently testing this trend line and it is a very crucial one because it has been respected back in March and back in November. So looking at price action, ideally we'd like to see a very good bounce from this trend line. Of course, we have to understand that momentum is not coming in for this S&P 500 because there's divergence in the RSI showing a loss in momentum. So if buyers do recognize this crucial trend line, ideally what we'd like to see is price action to bounce back up to this resistance consolidate and then a further to the upside. So further break it down, let's look at the 4 hourly time frame. So currently if we zoom in over here, let me just zoom in over here, you can see that price action has broken through this support zone. So in our previous video, price action was actually trading above this support zone and S&P 500 was looking very good. However, because currently price action has invalidated this support zone, broken it down and then retesting this newly formed resistance zone and immediately sellers came in to push prices down. So you can see there's a lot of sellers in this supply zone right now. So what we hope is to see a break of this resistance zone and for further continuation to the upside. So that's for the S&P 500. It's not looking very well. However, we are not trading at a crucial trend line from the daily time frame, and we have to monitor to see how well price action reacts to this trend line. So next up, we'd like to look at is Nasdaq 100. So Nasdaq 100 is really looking better than S&P 500 because prices are currently testing this newly formed support zone. So let me draw out with this rectangle over here. You can see that for prices have broken up through this resistance zone and currently retesting this support zone to see how well prices will hold. So ideally, we would like to see prices hold, consolidate a bit above this newly formed support zone and to continue on to the further upside. So that's for the Nasdaq 100 is looking better than the S&P 500 and we should continue to monitor how well this crucial support zone holds as well. As you can see from the trend line, you can see that the price action has been testing this trend line very well over the past few months and we can have this trend line as a backup support zone if this support zone does not hold. So we'll continue to monitor this Nasdaq 100. And lastly, I'd like to bring you to TLT. So essentially, TLT is an ETF that tracks the US 20 years bond. So this 20 years treasury bond is a very long dated bond that trading at a price of 145. And previously, in our previous analysis, we did mention that prices will likely move higher. Reason being because it has reached a very crucial demand zone and you see buyers coming in to push prices higher. So for TLT, essentially, this bullish price action is good for a stock market, reason being that people are buying more of these bonds because they do not expect interest rates to increase in the future. So this brings down inflation fears for the stock market and this gives us a bit more confidence in the stock market going higher. And if crucial support zones as mentioned earlier in the video do hold, we can expect further upside for the stock market. Of course, there's bearish signals and we do have to trade safely and carefully in the coming week ahead. So with that, that's the end of this video. If you do enjoy this video, do remember to give a like and subscribe to the channel. And with that, trade safe and I'll see you in the next one.